Hello and welcome to the last session of UGN Extend Sheet Metal Design. We are doing project 6 now. This is project 6. This is an enclosure with base features and then contour flanges. Then we have louvers, gussets, hem flange, 180 degree hem flange, air vents, etc. The material is CRCA and the sheet thickness is 1 mm and the K factor given is 0.43. This is an interesting project. Before we start the project, just to reconfirm the workflow that we generally follow, we'll first construct the base feature, then we'll add few bends or flanges to it, then we unbend and add punch and die feature and cutouts, then we'll rebend and create a flat pattern, and finally we detail the part. Step 1 preference settings. Based on the drawing and the component, we will be entering values of material thickness, bend radius, relief depth, relief width and finally the K factor. Once that is done, we will start with the tab of rectangle 127 into 129 and after that we will be creating a flange of height, the entire length and entire width and then height is 76.2 then we'll create a contour flange of entire width. This is the dimension for it. Next we'll go to flanges. We have specified length and depth. So once we enter that, we'll get this type of flange and next we need to create a metered corner here using the bent corner methods. And after that, we'll be creating a cut pattern, extrude cut and a pattern, which is a platform for creating the hem flange. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hem flanges which is in a pattern, linear pattern but unfortunately we cannot create this using a one feature. This is the limitation of UGNX10 and we have to create each hem flange individually so we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 individual hem flanges features. Once that is done we will be creating a contour flange which is of this dimension and we will be sweeping it from this boundary till here and in that sweep we will get a, a good corner also close corner and after creating that we will create 180 degree hem flange on this side and next we will be creating a normal cutout we have to create two numbers of it because when we create a normal cutout we draw the rectangle the cutout profile on this plane and when we cut it on the opposite side that is here we will see that a little material is left out we will create one more no normal cutout to clean it up after that we will be creating a contour flange on that gap and we will, once that contour flange is created, we will the break, we'll break the corners and we will get this a semicircle profile and on that center we will be putting a hole. After that is done, we will go to step 13 that is gussets. You can see that we have add pattern 1 and pattern 2. Why we did is that we will create the first feature and then we will pattern it to this feature we will be pattern using pattern 1 and in second pattern we will use the same first feature as a feature to pattern and we will pattern at this distance. Why we have opted for two pattern is because the pattern distance is different for each feature. After that is done, we will be creating a dimple here based on the drawing and we will create one normal cutout here and we will be patterning that normal cutout in four places of 360 degree that is 90 degree each. After that, we will be creating a lure and then we will pattern it. 
we'll create one feature based on the drawing and then we will pattern it in direction 1 and direction 2. After that is done, next we'll create a hole. In this array, you can see that uh, the area at the center, there's no holes. We have deleted this instance during pattern feature to get this profile. And once that is done, we'll create a flat pattern. I will sh explain you how to do this part in UGNX10.